With this WMER2 News Update, I'm Kelly Swoop. Maryland will discontinue enhanced pandemic federal unemployment benefits. That announcement from Governor Larry Hogan came late this afternoon. The state will also reinstate work search requirements. All this goes into effect Saturday, July 3rd. It includes the additional $300 per week in benefits, mixed earners unemployment compensation, pandemic emergency unemployment compensation, and pandemic unemployment assistance. Since March of 2020, Maryland has paid out more than $12 billion in unemployment benefits. Well, Baltimore County wants to honor the more than 9,400 Marylanders who and 1,500 Baltimore County residents who have died due to the pandemic. The County and Baltimore County Arts Guild are looking for a highly creative and dynamic public arts concept to be installed at Lake Roland Park. It'll represent hope, unity and healing Application deadline is July 1st at 1 p.m. You can find more information on our website at WMER2news.com. Contracted workers at BWI Thurgood Marshall Airport and Baltimore Penn Station are getting a raise. Over the next five years, more than 2,000 workers could see their hour, hourly salary increase up to $17. The raise is part of the newly passed Secure Maryland Wage Act. Eligible workers include janitors, uh, non-TSA security officers, wheelchair attendants, ramp workers, and more. Well, the Baltimore Ravens and M&T Bank Stadium will host a job fair in about two weeks. They're looking for game day staff. The fair starts at 9 a.m. on Sunday, June 13th and ends at 5. Candidates should park in Lot D and enter through the Southwest Lobby. Masks are required. And to set up an interview, head to our website at WMAR2news.com. And we're in for a cloudy day as we head into your Wednesday. Temperatures are going to be in the mid 60s for the morning drive, warming into the upper 70s through the afternoon with clouds building and they're going to linger throughout the evening hours. Daytime highs hit 80 in the city. I'm expecting most other locations to only climb into the upper 70s. And then we're looking at rain chances increasing tomorrow evening into your Thursday where we have that level one risk or actually level two risk for strong to severe thunderstorms across most of the state as daytime highs only hit 81 degrees. We're warming heading into the weekend temperatures returning to the 90s by Sunday warming into 92 by Tuesday. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com all day for updates on our top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather while you're on the go, make sure you download the WMER2 News app. You'll find it in your app store. This WMER2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.